Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a topic that can save you tons of headaches as you develop projects on your Raspberry Pi. Creating and using a Python virtual environment. Not only will this keep your code and dependencies clean, but I'll also show you a real world example using the Adafruit DHT11 sensor to gather temperature and humidity data. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly why you need virtual environments and how to set one up. Plus you'll see it in action so you can hit the ground running. If you ever followed a Raspberry Pi project tutorial, chances are it told you to install this package or upgrade that library. Over time, mixing and matching different projects on the same system can lead to dependency hell, where updating one package breaks another project. This is where virtual environments come in. A Python virtual environment gives each project its own private sandbox. You can install specific versions of libraries without affecting the rest of your system. This isolation keeps your Raspberry Pi organized, ensures that each project runs smoothly and makes it a breathe to share your setup with others. Let's jump right into creating a virtual environment on your Raspberry Pi. First, let's run the update command by just typing in sudo apt-get update and then after if you don't have the latest upgrade run sudo apt-get upgrade to upgrade your system next most of the raspberry pis come with python 3 by default but let's ensure we have the module so run the command sudo apt-get install python 3 dash venv let's say we're working on a project that uses the adafruit dht11 sensor we'll make a directory for it and you can do that by just creating the folder by typing in mkdir and then whatever you want to name in this case dht11 project and to access this folder we'd have to use cd the cd command so just run cd dht11 project Inside your project folder, in order to create a virtual environment, run python 3 m venv venv. This creates a new directory called venv that contains a self-contained Python environment just for this project. To start using this environment, run source venv slash bin slash activate. Notice that the prompt changed, which indicates you're now inside your virtual environment. Now let's bring in our real world example, the Adafruit DHT11 sensor. To use it, we need the Adafruit Circuit Python DHT library. This is where the virtual environment really shines in. Any libraries we install now will stay neatly within this project's environment. Inside the activated for virtual coke environment, run pip install adafruit circuit python dht this command installs the DHT library, which works for both the DHT11 as well as the DHT22 sensors without messing with your system-wide Python setup. If you have other projects that need different sensor libraries or versions, they remain unaffected. With the library installed, let's do a quick demonstration. I have the DHT11 sensor connected to my Raspberry Pi GPIO pin 20. Here's a simple Python script that reads temperature and humidity data. If everything is set up correctly, you'll see the temperature and humidity readings right on your screen. Notice that we never had to worry about conflicting dependency. If you ever decide to install a different version of the DHT library or other sensor libraries in a separate project, you just create another virtual environment for that one. Here's another tip. Always activate your virtual environment before installing package. This ensures that the pip knows to place them inside that project's isolated bubble. Second tip is to keep each project in its own directory, which is its own virtual environment. Environment. This helps you stay organized and prevents cross-contamination of dependencies. Once you're done working in that environment, it's easier to return to your system's default state. All you have to do is run the deactivate command. Your prompt returns to normal and now you're back to your Raspberry Pi's global environment. And that's it. Virtual environments give you total control and flexibility over your projects. With just a few commands, you've learned how to isolate your dependencies neatly, install sensor libraries like the Adafruit DHT library, and avoid those messy dependency conflicts. If this video helped you out, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe for more Raspberry Pi and Python tips, and comment below to share what awesome projects you're working on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.